I would just say that, you know, respect us for our leadership in cutting tools, but don't limit us to just cutting tools, right? Because we, we have a lot to offer, you know, in, in terms of know-how, in terms of how to actually change your business, right? With either, with either digital products or even services. We have, you know, we've got a team of 200 and something plus engineers who do nothing but run projects. Hello and welcome back. It's good to see you all again watching the MTD CNC channel. Jeff is my special victim today, although I don't think he calls himself a victim. He is a pro, loves to talk, and we know Sandvik format so well, don't we, audience? We do. We know them for cutting tools. They're everywhere. They're global. When we see that yellow at trade shows, we know exactly what we're looking at. That is Sandvik format. However, Jeff is here today because there is more that meets the eye, and the continued expansion of Sandvik format, format is absolutely mesmerizing, but that's Jeff's job, and that's why we have him here today. Jeff, digitalization, expansion of company, making bringing everything into one source. Would you mind elaborating on everything that Sandvik format's doing right now? Yeah, uh, thanks, Tony. I mean... To, to be honest, to elaborate on everything is going to be a lot, a right? Day, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and as you said, everybody knows us as a cutting tool supplier, right? And and, and obviously, we're the world's largest cutting tool, tool supplier. But I, I, you know, I, I just have to reiterate, we're not just a cutting tool supplier, right? So we have expanded, you know, our offer into you know digitalization, right? You know, cutting tools that have sensors in them. We have software products. We have services, right? You know, we're trying to address you know, not just what happens in the value stream, you know, inside the machine, but literally what happens all the way leading up to the machine, and then also what happens once it leaves the machine, right? So these are the areas that we're interested in starting to address, you know, develop solutions, you know, we've acquired some, uh, some technology, some companies, right, to actually help us along that journey as well. So, you know, I'm not a huge fan of the term Industry 4.0. I like to look at it in terms of what we call the connected machine shop. I like that right? better too. We bring it down from kind of this nebulous, you know, high level Industry 4.0 to what can we do to, you know, with digitalization at the machine shop level, right? And all the way across the value stream from, you know, from basically design, planning, logistics, right? Getting the get, you know getting the work ready to come to the shop, when we have it in the machine, what can we do better inside the machine other than just cutting tools? And then when it leaves the machine, how do we actually use digital and data? Right. So, you know, there's kind of a saying that we've used internally is you know data is now the new oil, right? And you know, all along the journey across the value stream, there are there are areas where you can pick up data, right? that acts help you understand what's happened along the way. And then there's also along that path, there's ways that you can use the data from other areas to simplify the work that needs to be done by the people who have to do this work. Um, you know, so that's kind of a, like a real quick overview of what we're trying to do, so. I like that, Jeff, I do. And I was actually gonna play the Captain Obvious role and ask a simple question of why, but you went into that already, and for me, it, it, it seems, you know, it seems like this is the route that makes sense. It makes sense for the potential clients, the cur current customers, it makes sense for you. If I can go to Sandvik Format, if I can go to you, Jeff, and say, here are a smorgasbord of issues, and you have the solution where we can come to you and you can solve so many of our problems in one place, that is the ultimate goal, right? For them to come to you and yeah. you guys to be able to help with that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, you're, you're spot on. I mean, you know, if you think about where we are and kind of why is Sanvi Coromont venturing outside of cutting tools cutting and into tools, these areas, right? right? And the as reason, the largest cutting tool as company. The large, yeah, yeah, is, is there a risk in that? But the reason why we're doing it is because we, we believe we have the expertise to help, you know, machine shops. You know, if you, if you go all the way back to our roots, right, 1862 is when we started the company, right, as Sandvik, you know, and it's rooted in, you know, in a, in a you know, a steel company, right, making metals. And, you know, so we have this tremendous wealth of knowledge around metallurgy, you know, and, 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 and how to actually deal with the different components, you know, that are, are inside the various different materials, right? We have our own machine shops, right? We have our own manufacturing. 
you know, we have we have shops that are, you know, that have been now, you know, awarded, right, as lighthouse factories, right? Top shops in the US, top shops in the world. We now want to take this expertise and bring it to our customers, right? That's really why we want to do that, right? We think we are in a good position to deliver what we know about metal cutting and manufacturing to the manufacturing industry. That's really kind of where we're, you know, what, what's behind what we're doing here. Jeff, I'm not sure if I've heard a more profound reason to dive into something as you've just described as the largest cutting tool and moving into it. So thank you so much for sharing that. Sure. For the audience watching right now, I think I could quite literally walk off camera and Jeff can handle his own <laughs> all by himself, although we're not gonna do that today. Moving a little bit deeper into specific areas, because we've kind of given the bird's eye view now, right, right of, of right. what's going on and why. I think you wanted to talk a little bit more about the digitalization side of things. Is that what you wanted to dive yeah, into today? Yeah, yeah. So I, I think there'll be two areas, right, and, and that's digitalization and, and services. Okay. Um, you know, because, again, we have a, a, a plenty of cutting tools here, right, and everybody knows our cutting tools, you know, and, it, and it's not just regular cutting tools. I mean, recently we've developed some brand new tools for, right, that will fit perfectly on, right, the Akuma Multis machines, right, these multitask machines. We have several of these machines in our own R&D, and our R&D engineers just, they basically just go to town, right? They go to the machine, they, they d d design something, they build it, right, and then they put it on the machine, does it work, does it improve, right? Sounds so like this a is, lot of fun. It, it, it is, <laughs> and I'd love to actually have that job, right? right? But, so this is something we work on all the time, but digitalization is the other part of this, right? And, and you know, so we've got a number of different products that are designed to actually help, you know, machine shops understand what's going on in their shop, right? So this tool here, as an example, this is something we call Core Plus Machining Insights. And, and what this tool is, is for, for lack of better description, it, it, it actually helps you monitor OEE, but it's much more than that. You know, I, I like to call it kind of like OEE Plus. So what it does is using MT Connect, which is now a standard protocol, right, in the industry, it connects to your machine tool, and now I can take that data, and I'm running different analytics against the data. So I can tell you what's happening, you know, there's several layer, levels of it, right? I can tell you what's happening on your machine right now, what's happening or what's not happening, and if something's not happening, why it's not happening, right? So from anywhere in the world, I can access this information as long as I have access to, right, internet. The other thing it does is it's also collecting this data, so it has historical data. So I can tell you, basically, from multiple different viewpoints of the, you know, from the point of the machine, from the point of the factory, from the point of the cutting tool, from the point of, you know, from the viewpoint of the, of the component I'm producing. I can tell you about every minute I've ever run on that machine, whether it was producing or not producing, how it was producing, what part I was running. I can give you data on the parts, what the cycle time is, what the average cycle time is, the longest cycle time, the shortest, right? All of this data around, are my machines operating? Have they been operating? And if not, why, right? And this is, this is just data that, you know, has never been available. You know, I, I look back at, you know, I started my first job, 1980, and, to, to have this amount of information available is just unprecedented, right? So this is just one, one solution that we, we introduced about five years ago, almost five years ago now, and it's, and it's going really, really well. Customers are loving it. We've got customers who have had it for, you know, four years now, right? They keep renewing the subscription and, and they're getting, you know, they're deriving tremendous value out of it. So. Jeff, I'm absolutely loving this conversation, but if we keep talking, this is going to turn into a podcast. <laughs> Correct. And I think we could talk. For those of you watching right now, if you want to see Jeff and I on camera longer at another time, leave it in the comments. If you want Jeff and I to do a podcast together so you can learn more about this, leave it in the yep. comments. I think we have a lot more to talk about, but we have to close for now. Jeff, I'm going to leave you with a closing statement because we are, we don't want to make a three hour Correct. video, right? Correct. But I'll leave you for a closing statement of anything that you would like to clarify or emphasize for the audience today uh, as we close out this video. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would just say that, you know, again, you know, respect us for our, you know, our leadership in cutting tools, but don't don't limit us to just cutting tools, right? Because we, we have a lot to offer, you know, 
in, in terms of know-how, in terms of how to actually change your business, right? With either, you know, with either digital products or even services. We have, you know, we've got a team of 200 and something plus engineers who do nothing but run projects, right? For customers, right? We have access, we have, we have, we have programs, you know, with vending and tool logistics where we can provide logistics support for your, your, your cutting tools on the shop floor, right? We have, we have uh, lean consultancy services. We have a team of lean engineers that will come in and run lean projects for you, right? So we're taking our expertise and delivering that to our customers. So again, it's, you know, yes, we're a cutting tool company. We're tremendously proud of that, but think of us as more than that. That's, that's probably my, my closing statement. I like it, Jeff. You've given, given me a little bit of chills. I do hope we get to do this again soon. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for that information. I'm honored to be here today. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate you watching as well. Again, we don't need to restate it, but we're going to anyway. This is my buddy Jeff, and this is Sam McCormack. Way more than just a cutting tool company, even though it's hard to say way more because they're the largest cutting tool company, but I've done it anyway, Jeff. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it.